Hello. Hello. <laughs> what up? It's your boy, Tony Pony, with another dream vlog. Whew. This morning, I, uh, I dreamt something really, really strange. Well, well, it was actually two parts that I can remember. Uh, one was kind of, well, kind of, it was nightmare, but, well, I, I'll explain. But first, I'll uh, explain the less disturbing uh, part. It was strange. So, I was uh, dreaming that I was just chilling at the kitchen with my mom. And it was night time. It was at night. So suddenly the, the bell goes. The uh, front door bell. Really violently. And uh, my mom says like. Would you go look and see who that is? And, uh, she tells me. Please be careful. I said yeah okay. And uh, I, I open the door. Well. Unlock the door and just see a little bit, and I can see a black person. Uh, yeah, a very tall black person. I said, "Hey, what's up? What are you doing here?" And uh, he starts mumbling. I could not understand him, and uh, suddenly he gives me a note. And as I take the notes, I turn my head around and yell to my mother, like, yeah, there's some uh, black people here. And I turn my head back, and I see he has his pillow. He had a pillow on his arm. And he, he wasn't aggressive or something, but he pushed the door open, and he just parched inside, and I was holding him back. And I was yelling, and stay back, and you can't sleep here. You gotta go uh, home or something. You cannot stay here. And uh, after him, there was another black guy, and he also wanted to get, get in. But I was yelling so hard and pushing so hard, but I could not hold him. But uh, because he was like, like taller than the door over there, it's like over two meters it was like a really big guy it was not aggressive not at all but he just came in man and i freaked out from well just yelling and in the dream i woke up <laughs> yeah i had that happen before dream but in a dream and uh i woke up and I immediate, immediately go to my father and it was still nighttime and I said like oh, I dreamt uh, there was like black guys that wanted to, to sleep uh, with, in our house and uh, without, without our permission and uh, he immediately, immediately rushed to the front door and see if there was uh, still some people there but it wasn't yeah that's that part <laughs> really strange well what I've heard about uh, people coming to your house and letting them in it's like inviting bad I don't know spirits or something but I did not want him inside I was fighting to keep him out so I don't know, but but he got inside, so that's I don't know, that's good. I don't know, I don't know what it means. I don't know. It was strange. Dream within a dream. Last year I had a, a dream within a dream within a dream. <laughs> Even worse, but uh, 
That's not on YouTube, I think. No. But yeah, now the second part. The second part is pretty fucked up, dude. But also good. Uh, uh, I think I was laying here. But my bed was turned with my head to the window. And I was just laying and it was dark. And all of a sudden, my mom rushes through the door with a pillow, again with a pillow, and she will smack, will throw it on my face. I don't know what it was, but it did a paralyzing move on me. And uh, so... I, I could feel uh, in my whole body that I was paralyzed. Well, like, hmm, the only thing I can describe it is uh, when you lay down and uh, meditate, you get like this paralyzing feeling uh, after a while. And... It was kind of like that, but much, much worse than uh, immediate. I was like, yeah, okay. Normally, I, I freak out because I could not move. and But I didn't. I didn't freak. And uh, as I was laying there, I could see, uh, I think, three ETs with green eyes was like uh, typical grace but they had like a spark of green in their eyes like a Christmas light or something it was strange uh, in the dream I could see it in my head it's, it was not like they were in the room but uh, I, I just kept my cool man it was strange it was it was absolutely nightmare but in the dream, I was like, yeah, just relax, just relax. Uh, I'll get through this. <laughs> it was really awkward. It was like, I knew what, what was going on. And uh, it was like I had control or something. Well, not control, but. I had no fear. I had no fear, man. It was it's really odd. And I think this comes from, uh, I'm not sure, but I think, I think it's from the revocation that I do. Uh, I do like soul contract revocation every week. I go out and uh, I give a speech outdoor, which uh, is a lot, <laughs> declaring my, uh, how do you say that, sovereignty, well, yeah, I, I do that holdest in my own language, it's a piece of paper I wrote myself, uh, declaring that I do not want uh, to reincarnate and do this bullshit ever again. And uh, uh, to heal from all pain and trauma and fear that uh, I had. So I think that revocation work I take that to my dreams that's that's something that I notice uh, like the dream vlog from yesterday was also I was talking about reincarnation stuff uh, yeah it's like not really control but it's like I I cannot explain it man it's like I took knowledge to my dreams. <laughs> it's fucking strange. 
But that was feel that is what it's feel what it feels like. Yeah, it's fucking cool. And now I know for sure because I had no fear when I was totally par paralyzed by my mom in the dream. And I can see fucking ETs in my shit. Uh, I had that happen last year in reality. And uh, I was fucking in fear like fucking I uh, can't even describe. I was really stressed out about it. Yeah. And not in this dream. Really cool, but the green eyes was like, why the green eyes? Well, not the green eyes, like, it was like those big egg shape, but then in the middle where the pupil is, there's a green spark, well, sparks, those three aliens. And uh, the rest of the uh, shape was shadowy, <clears throat> but not see him long. And after that, I cannot remember what's happened. I don't know, man. But also with fear, yeah. Um, a friend of mine, she shared a video with me uh, about ETs uh, and the moon and stuff. I had seen it before, but in in that uh, video. Uh, they show pictures of ETs and a video and really creepy stuff. Well, I always had a fear of that. Even just a picture, it's like a shot of fear in my heart. It's really hard to describe, but it's like the first thing I see is like, my heart sinks like slow and I didn't have that when I saw that and that's actually the first time that that happens. I found it very cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a, like phobia, I think, I, I don't know. I think I've been uh, at some point uh, abducted or something by these guys in this life or uh, previous lives or something but uh, I always had an automatic uh, fear from those dudes even from animated pictures of grace that's fucked up dude But it seems not anymore, but I'm not gonna search. I'm not gonna <laughs> look at pictures like, uh, do I fear this shit? <laughs> That's, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, it's a real, re really good step in the right direction. Yeah. So, yeah. That's about it for the dream. Yeah, the thing is strange. Uh, was that my mom paralyzed me? I don't know. I saw, only saw her for a second. With the pillow on my face. Strange. Why my mom? I don't know. Mm. Maybe my mom is an E.T. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Man. Okay. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, dream vlog. Sorry if I seem a little tired, but I've been working overtime. I don't know. I'm almost falling asleep. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, critical break. Check out what I have. Ta -da! It's already home. Yep, I'm gonna do this.
this weekend. Yep. I'm gonna or um mail it. Yep. Real fast from America. I think I ordered it Sunday and now it's Wednesday. That's really fast. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> bye bye.